Thank you for coming out. Uh, I'd like to take issue with your fourth point, mainly in terms of the fact that there does seem to be an impetus for the disciples to say that Jesus was re resurrected uh -huh. when they saw him. And that's mainly, in, you said it yourself, that if Jesus is not resurrected, he's a failed messianic pretender. So wouldn't it also be an equally plausible explanation to say creating a resurrection after the very well-supported support, fact of his crucifixion, would that not be a very reasonable thing for them to do to create the resurrection? It wouldn't be a Jewish thing to do. Um, as I said, the idea of Messiah being killed, executed by his enemies, is completely un-Jewish. There is no expectation at all that Messiah, rather than establishing the throne of David and commanding the respect of Gentiles and Jews alike, would be shamefully executed as a common criminal. So this puts a question mark behind any hopes that they had entertained that Jesus was Messiah. Uh, also, I indicated that according to Old Testament law, Jesus hanging on a tree or execution by hanging on a tree showed him to be under God's curse. Um, and a Jew wouldn't come up with the idea of reversing that by resurrection from the dead because, as I say, for a first century Jew, the resurrection never occurs of an isolated individual apart from all of the righteous dead of Israel, and it never occurs within history prior to the end of the world. The resurrection occurs only on judgment day when God is going to raise all the dead and judge them. And so what typically happened with these failed messianic movements is that the followers just disbanded um, and these movements fell apart. N.T. Wright has said, when you look at these messianic movements from the first century before Jesus through the first, uh, the, the first century after Jesus, he said it always was the same pattern. The Romans crucified these messianic pretenders and the movements fell apart. In no case did they ever say, well, he, he is risen from the dead and is, he is the Messiah after all. This is just a completely un-Jewish thing to do. He says, what Wright says is the disciples faced with the crucifixion of Jesus would basically have two choices. Either you go home or you find yourself a new Messiah. But it would be uh, completely un-Jewish to think that contrary to Jewish beliefs that he was risen from the dead and, and was the Messiah after all. Um, even if they had wanted to say that Jesus was, say, a Jewish martyr who had been martyred for his faith, like the Maccabean martyrs, that still wouldn't lead to belief in his resurrection. Um, even if they had said, well, God has translated him to heaven, he's been taken up to heaven, and is in glory, and we will meet him again someday, that still wouldn't believe, uh, lead to belief in his resurrection. So there needs to be some kind of an adequate explanation for this radical mutation in Jewish categories that would lead them to think that this man was risen from the dead as an isolated individual in advance of the eschatological resurrection at the end of the world uh, and was therefore Messiah. And I see no reason to think that it wasn't the explanation that they themselves gave, namely that God raised him from the dead. And that's why they came to believe this very un-Jewish and um, radical idea.